All right, thank you. My name is Brian Graff, and I want to talk today about uh, performance, showing off to your boss. You know, how can how can we make ourselves look better within IT? How can we make ourselves look better? Um, not not exactly to our coworkers, but make ourselves more valuable for management. So, how does this work? Is there an easy formula? What can we do to uh, to better performance? And I get asked this sometimes as I go around to the VMware user group conferences, and we talk performance. Say what you know? What's that magic formula? What do we do? And well, the truth is, there's not an easy formula. Okay, it's not so simple. We have to actually do quite a few different things, and it all depends on our environments. So one environment is going to be completely different from uh, an, another user's environment. So the hard piece is there's no exact formula of how to do this. The nice part is, is there are some simple rules and some things that we can follow so that we can uh, achieve uh, better performance within our own environments. So first we have to start off with measuring. So like this says here, if you can't measure it, you can't uh, manage it. And that's true with a lot of things. So, you know, if, if, if things are moving along and uh, your environment's doing well or eh, not, not as well as you'd like it to, you have to start somewhere, right? How do you do that? Well, you have to have a baseline, all right? Now, the baseline is going to tell us what we're measuring from. If I say that I'm going to go measure an object and it's six or eight, you know, the question is, is it six inches? Is it six feet? Is it eight centimeters, you have to have a baseline and a standard to know uh, what you're going off of. So let's define performance. We, we, we realize we need to measure something, so we need to measure uh, certain values, and those values we like to call KPIs, Key Performance Indicators. What these allow us to do is we set a baseline with where we're at now, uh, and this might be latency, this might be disk space, this might be number of virtual machines that are over-provisioned. Over so there's a lot of different things that we can look at, and I'll show, on, show you on another slide the, um, some of the different ones that are, are used or places that you can go to look for uh, some common KPIs. After we select our KPI, we do need to look at our success criteria. All right, so what are we trying to get to? What are we trying to achieve to be successful? Is this, uh, is this lowering our, our latency? Is this lowering the number of virtual machines that are over-provisioned? Is it lowering the... Uh, the amount of bandwidth is going through certain parts of our, of our data center. There's a lot of different things that we can look at. One of the things we have to be careful of is comparing apples to apples and not apples to oranges. All right. So as, as we're going through this, you can't do a comparison of uh, specifically a physical against virtual because there, there's a lot of differences there uh, and it's not, a, it's, a, it's not a straight comparison. Once you've identified that gap, then you can start troubleshooting. You can start digging into how you can um, take care of your performance issues. So I want to talk here a little bit about performance and potential. So we know, for example, that with certain hardware, there's certain potential that we can hit as far as performance goes. The question is, how do we get up into that magic quadrant? All right, well, good performance measures is something to work for. Uh, they allow us to, to focus on what matters most. Instead of looking at the entire environment, we can, we can look down specifically at specific uh, KPIs and be able to try and better those. And as we, as we finish those, maybe we can move on to other KPIs. We also need to make sure that these are verifiable. So as we go through, we need to be able to, to sh do more than just say that something's better. We need to be able to show the results. So what I have here, I, I've shortened a link here for bit.ly slash example KPI. And it's a site that is dedicated to um, some recommended IT metrics, and, it, and it's quite large. Uh, there's a hundred of them, so I just put a, a quick little snapshot here that we can look at. Um, but if you go to bit.ly uh, slash example KPI, you'll be able to find a few more that might be more applicable to uh, your environment. So as we talk about performance, we know now that we need to be able to measure it. We need to be able to have uh, key performance indicators that we look at. Then we actually have to start looking at this. So one of the tools that we have is the, the vSphere client, right? We can go to the performance tab, and there's a lot of different metrics that we can look at. We can get charts. Uh, we can also get data down below uh, the actual chart, and we can work off of that. We also have the ESX top. So we can go in, and using command line, we can go through and, and dig down into certain real-time performance statistics. And if you uh, aren't already using ESX top, I strongly recommend that you start. Uh, it's a fantastic tool, and you can learn a lot about your environment and how to tweak it from here.
another tool that we can use is vCenter Operations Manager. So what I want to do is, is just show that there's many different ways that we can look at this. Like I said, there's no easy, simple uh, equation to, to take care of performance, but we do have tools that make things easier. And using tools like vCenter Operations Manager not only gives you a, a real-time analysis, but it does allow you to look forward and be more proactive. We have some other tools out there, for example, uh, Log Insight, which allows us to see how many log files are coming, and we're able to see how many errors. We can really dig through that data and be able to find the information that we're looking for and, and uh, issues that are causing uh, de deteriorated performance. Another tool I want to talk about real quickly is one from my friend Alan Renouf, and it's called VCheck. So it's, it's a script or a set of scripts out in the community that runs uh, on, on a scheduled basis that will give you a, a bigger oversight into your environment. It'll tell you, uh, depending on what's, what uh, add-ins you have in there, it'll give you a lot of information about what's in your environment. You come in in the morning and you can see if there's certain things that have changed, if there's certain things that need to be addressed. Out of all these tools, uh, I suggest that, that you use multiple, right? There's no one set tool that's, that's going to rule them all and there's not one that's going to be specific um, to, to just your environment. So I suggest using a number of these. And you can get this from uh, Alan Renouf's blog, virtual.net. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, that is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.